Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox tutorial. and today we're doing another video of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So before we get into that guys, just a massive massive thank you as always because yeah, we're pretty much at 7,700 subs now. So yeah, just a massive thanks to that. It's absolutely crazy and yeah, I really really appreciate it and it's just awesome how all of that has gone. And also a massive thanks to everyone who um, checked out the last video because I saw a lot of people did like the return of the what if videos. So yeah, hopefully we'll keep those going for... Um, a bit as well so yeah anyways getting into um today's system this is from pluto animations and it is named the aron system so let's go ahead and search that up and let's see what we have got here and apologies if i sound different today as well because i haven't been feeling the best um but anyways let's go into here right Ooh. don't up unpause or everything will die okay all right nice uh, starting image actually that's quite cool see you there it is there Looking good. All right, so yeah, we'll go ahead and check those guys out afterwards because we'll go ahead and we'll do the star first, like normal. So, right, how big is this system? Okay, so not the biggest thing in the world. But I think there's a second star system over there as well. Or, um, yeah, as well. So, right, anyways, the star alone, here it is. So 44 suns in luminosity. Pretty um, decent in size. Nothing too extremely large, but not really small either. So, yeah, there is that. Right, first object is Nona over here. So here we go. So this is actually the object, um, the first planet we just spawned in with. So here it is here. Very, very nice ice looking object. A lot of green on it as well. Pretty um, climate mode um, or pretty decent amount of climate mode on it as well. You can see there's loads and loads of ice there. Um, life like could actually very low um, by the looks of it as well there. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because of low surface pressure. Let's see. Yeah, nah, not really actually. It's just really cold I'm guessing then. Um, yeah, minus 22 degrees, so it's not completely frozen over, but if we switched off, um, climate, it would probably all freeze as soon as you click play, so there it is there. Then we have this gas giant moon, or gas or moon here, and this is extremely close to that rocky planet. As soon as you click play, that is going to either collide with it or going to get ripped to shreds. Right, then we have one called over here called Pa, looks like, um, a custom Venus. Oh, it actually is a custom Venus, okay. So there it is there. Right, the next one over here is... Banar. So this is a yellow and white gas giant. I recognise that. I think I've seen that one before um, in some places. So there's that one. Uh, next up we've got Xron over here. So this is a pink trail with a um, bluish atmosphere to it. Let's see underneath. Oh! Oh, that's my far out object. Yeah, pink trail. Oh, yeah, it is. Hey, they've, they've used that. Because I recognise the surface texture on it as well. Yeah, I built that. I remember that. Cool. Yeah, and the pink trail as well. That's one of the ones I've built. Um, then we've got Emomo over here. So here it is. Ooh. So this is one of the um, gas giants with um, atmosphered objects with some city lights to it as well. Looking very, very fine indeed. So there we go there. Looking good. So I'm guessing he's been digging in the template simulations we've been putting on the workshop, finding some of these. Um, next up we've got Aerobol of that. Aeronaba. I hope I'm saying that right. And this is a Europa by the looks of it, um, underneath there with an earth texture on it, I believe. So, looking good. So it's one mass of earth. This is very similar to earth. 99.9 .9 earth similarity. Very, very high stats on that one as well. There's um, some city lights on it too. So there we go there. Right, so that's the first object done. Next up, we've got death over here. So this is a cool looking red and black gas giant. A very menacing red and black looking gas giant. I'm liking the way that's looking. Very cool. Really like that. So that's death. Right, there we go. So that's that one. Now we've got a massive gap to the next object over here. So this is Cl Claron. I hope I'm saying that right. And, oh, I remember this one. This is a Venus colored uh, or Venus like object with a very, very thick blue atmosphere. So we'll see. Very, very bright colored underneath. But with that atmosphere on it, it makes it a very, very dark object. You can barely see it in the picture up here. But yeah, I remember when this thing, I first saw this object with that atmosphere. It looks so cool. But yeah, there is that. That was the Blue Venus um, originally, I think its name was. Right, next up we've got a Brown Dwarf over here. So this is Alara, Brown Dwarf. So it's going with a nice red and yellow fiery colour theme to it there. Looking very nice as well. Pretty large in size, around Jupiter size. It's got a lot, a lot more mass though um, on it there. Right, now we're moving on to Swern over here. And this is a, um, oh, this is a um, gas giant of atmosphere as well. I recognise this one. Yeah, the green one. So there it is there. Nice green cloud. As soon as I saw the picture at the top here, I knew exactly what that was. So I've seen this one before. So there's Swern. Rightio. Now moving on to the next one. With that nice pink purple colored uh, trail here. This is Wise. 
So over here, very dark purple um, coloured object there as well. I think I've seen that one before too. So there is Wise. Right, so moving out onto the second star now over here. So we'll go to the... We can get on the star. There we go. So this is the Iriora. Iriora. I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. Um, so yeah, there are its stats there. So it's not as luminous as the other star. But still pretty luminous. So there's its... You can see it overall already. You can definitely see it's not as... Uh, luminous is the one there but anyways there we are it's in a binary orbit with the first planet as well so let's see what it is here oh hello look at this this one's got a lot of bands on it so mostly like a gray and sort of purplish color vibe in there some lighter turquoise colors too there we go it's 400 degrees as well so pretty warm so there we are next up we go into lapon over here oh and this is one of the white ones with a blue tint to it looking very very nice it's got that's a venus texture as well under there i believe so yeah looking good yeah i want to say that's a venus texture is it i think i want to say it is i think it is i'm not entirely sure let's find out if i remove all the water oh no it's not okay you had me um you had me convinced for a second there but yeah there it is there i really like how the water is tinted it looks so cool it's the green with like the slightly more aqua looking coloured water. It looks so cool with that like green tint to it. Really, really like that. So there it is there. I've seen a lot of planets like that um, around with the tint to it. And this is a, this is definitely an IO texture here with a all red atmosphere. Look at that. Whoa. So that's Cory. So there we go there. Look at the red clouds on that. Whoa, whoa. Really, really cool stuff. Right, moving on to the next object over here. So this one's I'm guessing it's got a lot of moons as well. So, it's, oh, they're in binary, actually. So, this is Calron over here. A very, very white reflective object by the looks of it there. So, there we go. Let's just keep it in studio mode and turn that off as well. So, there it is. Very, very reflective. Got, like, two color colors in the atmosphere there. So, I've got a white and then, like, a purplish color before it goes to the dark nighttime zone. And then we've got a Venus. This is a Venus with an Earth texture. Look at that. It's the Venus, but with our continents. That's quite cool. Look at that. Nice. Not seen that before. Huh. That's quite cool, actually, having uh, the Earth continents on a Venus texture. Cool. So, if you increase it a bit more, how does it look? Seems like a bit of it is slightly off, but I'm guessing that's just the way the texture is. So, if you add a bit more water... Yeah, it literally does work the same way as Earth does. That's cool. I like that. So, yeah, there we go. That is Fenris. All right, now moving on to the last object. This is Jewel, and oh, look at this. The green and black. Oh, that's a nice, be that's a beautiful. Look at that. Really, really nice indeed. But it is a little interesting having a blue band out, out of nowhere there. But yeah, other than that, it looks absolutely great. That nice green and black sort of. There's loads of tints of green in there, actually. And then next up, we've got Reb here. This is a frozen world as well. A lot of um, climate mode on there. So there's that guy. Yeah, a lot of these are going to collide. They are way too close. Um, then we have this one here. I'm not going to try pronouncing that. It's going with like a Mars red atmosphere. Got some ice on it as well. 76 or 72 degrees though with ice. I'm not sure if that's right. That's more, maybe a frozen glitch object there. Uh, next up we've got Hastori here. And this is another gas giant with atmosphere there. So yeah, there we go. I think that is everything in here. So... Yeah, zooming out. Yeah, that's all of it. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go and click play and find out what happens at that first object here. Because these ones' orbits are ridiculously close. There's no way this was going to work. So, click play. Yeah, called it. I knew that would get just torn to shreds by Roosh Limit. Or, or either collide with it. So that's just been completely annihilated. This Pam Moon is very close. It's getting warmed up by tidal heating. But it's not enough to completely rip it to shreds. This other moon is extremely close to that pink one there. They are definitely going to get close at some point as well by the looks of it. They're getting all burnt up as well. Pretty crazy stuff, but yeah, really, really dangerously close to that gas giant was. Or gas moon, sorry. Um, and that's just completely shredded within hours. So that was way too close. So they're actually in a binary, Nona and this Barna one here. So there are those guys. I reckon those would eventually start disrupting the other moons as well. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and reload this because I want to go and have a look at the... Um, I want to go and have a look at the other stars, planets, because those ones were pretty interesting as well. So, there we go. Let's go over here. Done. Right. So, around this star now. So, orbits. Uh, was it this one? Yeah, I think it was this one, wasn't it? Uh, let's see. No. No, it wasn't that one. Okay, we'll try again then. 
Oh, uh, was it the Calron one? No, they, those two were in a... Yeah, they're in a binary. It was the very, very last one. Uh, it was the dual one. That's it, yeah. The, not the sweet-looking green one. So here we go. Yeah. If this if some, if any of these somehow survive, I'll be pretty uh, surprised because that that red one doesn't seem a little too close. Let's see what happens. You can see the orbits are wobbling a bit, but I wonder if it's going to stay or not, or is it going to get pulled in by that gas shine? It looks like it actually may be um, pretty stable, actually. I mean, it's very close, but seems like it's safe where it is. It's getting a bit of tidal heat. You can see the temperature is changing slightly. The orbits are very, very wobbly over here as well. What well, no, happens if you uh, speed up a bit more? Oh, the, even the gas shine's getting warmed up from the tidal heating. And this guy's actually getting some pretty intense heat as well from the tidal heating. But yeah, it looks like something just uh, got ripped to shreds there. So yeah, it looks like Reb finally, its orbit finally changed. A bit of it looked like it got shredded apart there. But yeah, even the gas giant um, took some heat there. So something, something smashed into it. I think something must have got or lost some material, then it flew into the gas shine. But that thing does look pretty cool when you warm it up. I like that. Yeah, around this sort of temperature, around four, five hundred degrees, that thing looks really, really cool. But yeah, those are extremely close. Those two moons, those two big moons are colliding at some point. There's no way they are staying. They have to collide at some point, I think. Or something's going to fly into the planet as well, because yeah, that blue one is. Something's gonna get. Something is gonna happen. They're gonna get ejected. They're gonna collide. Something along those lines. There's no way this is gonna survive. Yeah, something just got destroyed because my game's frozen. So something has just created a lot of particles because that may have killed me. I think that's probably killed my game. Oh, that's that's a, that's a shame. <laughs> I guess we can um, end off there then because um, that's pretty much all I wanted to check out. But yeah, it's completely killed my game. Uh, universe is not responding. Oh, that's. Um, that's nice. But yeah, anyways, I guess that's it, guys. So, um, first system has ever crashed me. Surprisingly, when you click play, never ever been crashed by a simulation. So, congratulations. You're the first person to create, break my PC when I click play in your simulation. <laughs> I mean, that, that the amount of particles that must have created there to completely freeze my PC. That doesn't normally happen. Usually, it would continue and just run really slowly. But actually, crashing my game, that's pretty, that's out of the ordinary there. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, with that all the way, the hell way, guys, um, yeah, make sure you hit that like button as um on this video, and also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 8,000 subscribers. We're almost, we're about 300 away now, which is um really really cool. And yeah, guys, um, let's um see here. Okay, yes, yeah. Also, make sure if you wanna um send in your own systems, make sure to join my Discord server in the description. Um, and then you, know, you can send them in on the upload chats there, because I do check them quite regularly for making these videos. So yeah, well, anyways, with that all done, guys, make sure you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.